how uh, how did it change uh, the traveling in the NBA when you compare the early 80s and, uh, for example, mid 90s? Was it? Uh, I guess that it always was exhausted in the 90s, but. Uh, when you could compare 80s and 90s, was it uh, like a hell and heaven or that wasn't so so bad? It may be more like hell and heaven because <laughs> in, in, the, uh, in the 80s, you had a lot more responsibilities that were delegated to the players. Uh, and then teams did not pl- fly uh, private. They all flew with the regular people, you know, and then you, uh, you got a leg room seat first class or... Uh, exit role based on uh you know your number of years in the in the league so if you were a young guy a lot of times you you know you were sitting with your knees to your chest no matter how long or short the flight was but uh for me because i was um drafted high and i was playing a lot i was telling i'm not sitting in no seat with my knees to my chest and then getting off the plane and going to the arena to play so you all need (laughs) to figure that out Mm -hmm. you know but the biggest difference i think one of them was that um you know, we uh, in the 80s, we flew commercial. In the 90s, we were flying private, and which was really good because as soon as the game was over uh, in the 90s, you were you were packing up that same night flying to the next city, which meant you got to sleep in in a bed that night. You didn't have to sleep three or four hours in the 80s and get up five or six in the morning or before and fly to another city to connect to get to where you're going. You were going directly there in the 90s and then in the 80s, we carried our own uniforms, all our own uh, things. We had to wash our uniforms. And being with the Clippers, you know, you kind of were on the, the low end of the NBA stature at the time. So we were catching cabs instead of buses. You know, the buses pick you up from the airport, take you to the hotel. We would catch the cabs and uh, two and three, two cab pay. They would reimburse you. Stuff that you, on that level, you wouldn't have thought you would have had to do. Uh, but once I left San Diego and got to Milwaukee, the tr- it transitioned. I mean, the, the team took care of more things, and it made it easier on you to just focus on getting ready for the game. Mm-hmm. And then the 90s came. You know, it was with uh, uh, San Antonio then, and uh, we had our own plane. And so that made a big difference. I believe that's, it helped me to play 18 more, you know, 18 years in the league too because you, know, you didn't have all of that you know, got to get up, got to pack, got to get to the downstairs, to the bus, from the bus, to the airport, connect on the flight, <laughs> you know, and then by the time you get there, the coaches tended to want to practice because the next day was a game because I think it was part of the uniform agreement was that you have to be there the day before, the night before the game. So it's, it was a lot. It was a lot on us. You didn't know any better because that was what everybody was doing then. But the moment we got a private plane and the league turned to private jets and stuff like that, most players' careers were extended because of that, in part. 